With its lightweight at 61.9 grams and the Ingenuity software to customize it, how well does it do in both productivity and gaming? The Pulsefire Haste is a well-made sturdy lightweight mouse at 61.9 grams, and yes, I've measured mine with a coffee scale so it's pretty accurate. And despite its weight is one of the larger feeling mice, this is because of the lack of a taper on the grip of the mouse. There is a light concave shape to the sides that adds some comfort to the grip, with the flared section of the back cupping the inner section of my thumb, which allows it to comfortably rest right below the back side button. Both these side buttons are relatively small, but I haven't found any issues with missed or accidental clicks. The flare on the back of the right hand side is not prominent, again because of the lack of taper on the grip, with the midsection hump sitting pretty high, which makes it much more comfortable for a hybrid claw and palm grip. But when I try to palm grip the mouse, it adds a lot more pressure to the palm section right underneath my knuckles. This is mostly because the back section of the mouse isn't long enough to support the rest of the palm to relieve some of that pressure. And in trying to fingertip grip the mouse, my fingers seem to rest just at the edge of where the lightening holes are on the primary mouse buttons. The primary mouse buttons themselves have a nice comfort groove that seats my fingers closer to the center of the mouse, which is more comfortable as it is a more natural neutral position. The primary mouse clicks are nice and tactile with a short travel, giving it a responsive feel with no side play due to the ergonomic position of the comfort groove. The step scroll wheel, in my opinion, is a little too light, with these steps being just noticeable. Right behind it is the DPI button, which is easily reachable and small enough that you don't accidentally press it. I would suggest changing the DPI sensitivity in HyperX's Ingenuity software instead, especially if you already have a preferred DPI sensitivity. You can turn the DPI button into a quality of life improvement, which can be as simple as a play pause button, so you don't have to swap programs to focus in on a game. How does the Pulsefire Haste perform in games? Well, I mainly play Apex and the natural position my hand falls into is a claw grip, with the back of the mouse firmly butting against my palm. This gives me a good sense of wrist movement while giving me the wiggle room to make micro adjustments with my fingertips. The texture and the weight help with the arm aim movement, and picking up the mouse I don't feel like it would slip out of my fingers, but if you feel that the texture is lacking and it would slip out of your fingers, HyperX does include pre-cut grip tape, and even extra PTFE feet, if the original becomes too scratchy, but the out of the box experience with the PTFE feet are great. And there isn't a lot of drag, the feet also don't send a lot of feedback, so if you're used to relying on how your mouse feels on the mousing surface, it's a smoother experience, which can take some time to get used to but can be a pleasant change. I do wish that more companies would include extra PTFE feet and grip tape, that way people have more control over the experience with the product they have just bought. Or even just change things up so that it feels brand new, despite having a couple year old mouse. Of course, in the box is the usual cable and dongle adapter, allowing you to charge the cable in a pinch, but if you do use the included cable, it is not the best and you can definitely feel a good amount of cable track. But it isn't so stiff that it's completely unusable, despite it having a memory to its original packaging shape. Going back into the HyperX Ingenuity software, you can actually set presets for specific games when they launch, allowing you to record and adjust the timing to a game-specific macro, like specific jump throws in Counter-Strike because of its ability to also include mouse clicks. The macro is saved directly on the mouse if you save it on the base profile. But if you're using this in tourneys and such, make sure you check with your tournament organizer if this is allowed, which could make it better to practice actually pulling off time techniques instead of having it pre-recorded. But what can you do instead? You can set the side and DPI mouse buttons into harder to reach keys on the keyboard, such as swapping into a specific grenade or changing firing modes. And in Apex, the side buttons already have pre-programmed side button functions, which is punch and grenade, but some legends have tertiary abilities that use the H and or X buttons, so you can set the DPI button to that instead. The ability to change presets after launching a program is a great quality of life improvement when gaming, but in productivity or work, this can be a problem. Why is that? That is because the Ingenuity software only changes presets when you launch a program, and when doing work, generally you would move between programs. From the editing software like DaVinci Resolve, to File Explorer, to a business chat service, to an internet browser and back, you're not launching them every time you change them, before realizing it's actually been 8 hours and you have to go to work because your alarm just went off. In productivity, I would suggest picking your main work application, and then tailoring the mouse button macros to something you would normally leave the mouse for. For example, I normally would pick DaVinci Resolve and change the side buttons to trim the footage, backwards or forwards, and the DPI button to be for the blade tool. Mostly because I have to search for those keys and make switching from the select tool to the blade tool really easy. But the Pulsefire Haste is a gaming mouse, it isn't marketed towards productivity. It makes sense there wasn't any considerations towards those quality of life improvements for productivity. Why shouldn't it be good for games and then worse for productivity? I don't know about you, but I don't compete in tournaments where the stakes are high and 
Sure, it's nice to be able to do well even in a more casual rank setting. I would rather have the ability to have improvements in the quality of life for both productivity and gaming, instead of what is effectively a better version of the same thing, a gaming mouse. And in my experience changing mice, I found that intentionally practicing my aim improved my aim much more effectively, while also being transferable to any mouse I used. But if you're the competitive win at any cost sort and your current mouse feels like a limitation, Pulsefire Haste has a shape that is suited towards claw grip that makes me feel that I have a firmer and consistent grasp on the mouse. While being lightweight and responsive does help make it easier to aim and control. While not the most responsive mouse I've tried, I haven't had any issues with the sensor or have experienced lag. The more responsive mouse I've actually tried is the Basilisk V3 Pro, but it doesn't skip out on the ability to improve productivity. Video on it here, subscribe for more videos on tech for both productivity and gaming. I'm your host Naka and have a nice one. HyperX gave away feet for free? Ayo?